Hello, I'm Thingy McJig, and welcome to another Redstone video. Today I'm going to show you some rather silly designs for farms that I've created. These first couple of farms are sugarcane farms, and I thought, well, usually you have a this uh, an observer up here, and you send a signal to a piston. So when it detects growth at the top, it will smash this bit of the sugar cane. But instead I thought, why don't we make one where the observer smashes the sugar cane? So I've done two versions of this. This one, the observer's going to come down from the top. This one, it will come out from the side. So I'll just increase the random tick speed. So this one detects it and then comes down to the top and then this one goes out to the side. So the redstone behind this, we have a, a pulse extender which makes this one tick pulse longer and that pushes out this piston. We then have this piston which is activated by quasi-connectivity, so the redstone dust here is on. Suppose the redstone dust here is on, that the block of this piston will be powered, which means this one should be powered. So we do have to have this piston there to make sure that one is updated. So then this this bit, this gets pushed across, the slime block gets pushed down, and the observer smashes both of the blocks of sugar cane. Then when the pulse deactivates, this line turns off first, so that one retracts first, and then makes this retract afterwards. And this repeater here keeps the um, this block extended so that no more pulses get received from the observer. Otherwise, the farm would end up in a constant cycle. With this farm, we have the observer on the side of the slime block sending a signal through the obsidian block, which is immovable by slime blocks, um, and then we send this into a pulse extender, just like in the previous one, and we also have a circuit which will block the incoming signal when the observer comes back to the top. Then we feed this through to a double piston extender where we have first a signal sent to the top, then a signal sent down here, and then on the falling edge, well, when this act reactivates this torch, um, there'll be a, a single tick pulse sent through to this piston which will retract it and that will pull the slime box up. Now the third of these sugarcane farms is one which my brother suggested. He said why don't you just put the piston above the observer because then well the observer will activate the piston when the Sugar cane grows up to here, but then the piston won't activate anymore. And that's what I thought exactly would happen. Um, but I found actually that it detected, I think, every single random tick here, um, and that meant that the sugar cane grew and the piston smashed it immediately. So that one was quite a surprise to me. 
Now, the next farm is a flying machine-based bamboo farm. You might be thinking that's a perfectly normal thing to do. Well, actually, this is not the sort of flying machine you'd think of. So, when this bamboo grows to the top, this flying machine is activated and it goes down to the obsidian block and then back up. Now, we have a, an observer sensing the bamboo growth, which sends a pulse through to the pulse extender and pushes this piston, this observer, into place and makes a flying machine. Then we also have a blocker, so no pulses can come in from this observer while the other one is staring at it when this one comes down. We have a returning system on this flying machine. You just stick a redstone lamp on and another observer and then that one will deactivate after the flying machine stops and send a signal to this to start it going in the other direction. So we'll show this in action. I did get a problem when I was testing this that the random tick speed was so high that the bamboo did sometimes grow up just underneath the, as you saw there, underneath the other flying machine and it didn't have time to reset itself but the chances of that happening in an ordinary circumstances is very low. Now this final farm is a sheep farm, but more than that, it's a sheep farm that only works on multiplayer servers. Yes, well, the problem with most sheep farms is the shears will eventually break, so you either have to have lots of backup shears, or an iron farm and a um, special mod that will also craft new shears. They, they do work quite well for a while, but they eventually break. So this is one which relies on players shearing the sheep. So we'll get some shears and demonstrate. So we have some minecart with hoppers under the grass, they're on rails on hoppers, and we'll put that through, and the the comparator there has sent a signal through to the RS NOR latch, which has put the item into there, deactivating this comparator, and turning off this redstone line to the piston, and we can now walk through the door. So, the idea with this is giving the players an incentive to shear the sheep, so you might have a commonly used shop in here, for example. Now, eventually the sheep will regrow its wool, and it will eat the grass, and the dispenser, sorry, the observer will detect that and send a signal, oh, we saw it just there, through to the RS NOR latch, which will put the item into this dropper, and then we pick that up through a comparator, amplify it with a repeater, and <coughs> put it through into our very much simple redstone door. By the way, if you want this door, you just have to have a sticky piston with a, a, a trap door on top, and then you have to power the block above. Though there is another problem with this, which is if you shear the sheep when the grass isn't there, then the sheep will the grass will eventually spread, and that will close the door, and the sheep won't have any wool at this stage, so you can't open it. So you may end up trapped inside the shop. Actually, the concept of having a farm which relies on giving an incentive for other people to work on it is quite a good one, and it means you don't have to leave your computer on overnight. But also, you could do quite a lot of different farms like this. All in all, these farms are pretty much useless, and you've just wasted several minutes of your life watching this video. Sorry. 
but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Leave a like, subscribe for more um, original redstone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!